Hello guys, welcome to FireDF PV channel. I finally fixed the OSD flickering problem on this drone, but during the process of fixing it, I went through many other ground loop problems like this. And this. And also this. So I consult with my best friend Martin who is an electrical engineer and he helped me all along, he supported me all along and he gave me the solution that may in all possible future ground loop problem I may encounter in the, the FPV drone field. So I want to shout out for him, his YouTube channel is Yamet, go subscribe to his channel, watch his videos. He's the guy who truly know about electrics. If you want to consult someone that to solve in order to solve your electrical problems, this is the guy that you don't want to miss. I also want to thank my YouTube channel members. You guys support me monetarily each month. I cannot thank you enough. You are my inspirations to continue making this channel better and better. So thank you so much my YouTube channel members. All of you. Love you. So in order to explain how to solve the ground loop problem, let's go into the iPad. So these are the equipment in my drone and how I wire them up is like this. I power the VTS from the 5 volt back and that is a smart audio wire from the video transmitter to the kids fly controller and I also power the FPV camera from the 5 volt back and then the USD received 5 volt from the flight controller and there are two TSRX wires also and then by simply adding the video uh, cable from the camera to the OSD and from the OSD to the VTX doesn't work this is when I got the first ground loop problem so what fix this problem is that by adding two more ground wires first from the VTS to the OSD and the second ground wire is from the camera to the OSD and this will solve the problem so in my understanding if um, you want to add an additional equipment into the system in this case is the OSD and it needs to talk to all the equipments for in this case they are the VTX and the FPV camera if they need to talk to each other then you need to add more ground Y in order to let them talk to each other so that is how I understand the situation here well my friend Martin explained a little longer than this but this is the way I understand it and here is the actual quote from Martin about how to solve the ground loop Grounding generally, ground should be connected to one point with as short cables as possible. This is to avoid loops that can result in current going in circles and inducing noise. This principle works as long as you don't have any signals between the components, but in this case, you have both video and receiver and transmitter. So the best way is to connect ground between all the boards. Having said that, the order in which you should do it is to remove sources of noise, check capacitors, etc. and make sure none of the motor windings are shorting to the carbon. It's also a good idea to try to eliminate the area of current loops. 
For example, all three wires to the model should be kept as close as possible to each other, and you should always route all three cables on the same side of any standoffs and screws. Secondly, you should improve noise immunity by elimination of the paths that the noise take from the source to the place where it's causing problems. Third, you can filter out the noise on the recipient side, but it will also filter the signals you want thereby, possibly giving less performance, which might be acceptable or not, depending on the application. So thank you for watching and see you next video. Bye bye.